this shows another two of my earlier filter f uh, failures. This one here is a posh version of the multi bay I first designed in 1982. And this particular one has three chambers and a very posh for the time discharge box where drains from all the bases of the filters, this went around the other side, went to a discharge box that was connected to the waste of a pond and discharged by the use of stamp pipes. Like I say, this was a very, very expensive version of the multi-bay chamber. Now, these are available in single bays, double bays, triple bays, four bays and five bays. You know, um, that's explaining the, the, the filter itself. Uh, support trays in the time were made to support heavy tiers of gravel before uh, Japanese filter cartridge blocks came. But um, And this next one, I'm sure you'll recognise, is my uh, Vortex filter that I brought out round about 1985. This shows about the correct size of the Vortex. Uh, it was designed to be a large diameter receptacle so that water could travel round slowly very, very slowly. This was a prime vortex unit in the hope that centripetal action would take place and coax the solids down to the coned base where they could be removed to a sewer. I discarded both of these around, um, well, I discard, discarded them, yeah, around about 85, 86. And I discarded them because of this. Whether they are single chamber, double chamber, triple chamber, or what else you care to mention, I soon realized that the incoming water to the first chamber on the initial fill only filled up perfectly and any media across here could get covered perfectly. Sad to say, once it fell down into the next chamber, it also filled up perfectly and on the last chamber. But once the pump started running, it was a different matter. And what actually happened is shown here by the arrows. a 45 degree angle from the inlet of the first chamber tracked to the outlet of the first chamber. It then fell down the transfer port, entered the second chamber and tracked again to the exit of the second chamber. Down to the third chamber through the transfer port 
and tracking occurred once again on a 45 degree angle to the end of the third chamber. In truth, less than 10% of the media placed in these boxes came into constant contact with the pond water. So, in effect, these boxes were about 90% inefficient. Um, on the next video, I'll um, move on to when I first discovered and started messing about with horizontal flow purely by accident. So thanks for watching.